Looks like we synced up again, hey? Sorry, I always manage to do that. Do what? I'm a puller. And my poor sisters always suffered whenever they came home for a visit. I'd always pull them back to my cycle. Guess now it happens with housemates too. Ah, here you go. Yeah, well, it was the same with my sisters. I probably pulled you to my cycle this time. Oh, OK. What this? They were mine. What? The tampons you finished in the bathroom drawer? They were mine. That's why I didn't buy any, because I thought I had some. OK. I'm sorry. Now we're even. Aren't we even? Yeah. It's just that I knew I was due today, that's all. It wasn't a surprise or anything. OK. Because if it was a surprise, that would mean that you pulled me. But you didn't. So yours came a few days early? No, I'm pretty bang on schedule every month. <laughs> but well, you can't you can't be bang on schedule every month because we weren't synced when we moved in together and now we are. So you must have shifted by a day or a two. Like I said before, my sister's always synced up to me because I have the strongest... You don't have the strongest pull! That's what I'm saying! I was due today. It came today. So clearly, I pulled you to me. Ava, I don't think... No, no one, one said it matters. No one said it matters. But I'm just letting you know so that you don't go around telling everyone that your pull is stronger than theirs when it's not, because that would make you a liar. Do you want to be a liar, Leah? No. No, I didn't think so. Hey! What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing? Just scrolling, you know? Whatever. You're totally creeping on some chick. No, I'm not. You totally are! Thank God I didn't get in five minutes later, right? Oh, shut up. It's... It's not like that, okay? Oh... Do I detect la 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 la? What do you want? What? Don't you want to see me? Of course. It's just... You usually want something from me. Well, not this time. Really? Nah, I do kind of want a little favour. Can you look after this for me? What is it? I must have freak out. <laughs> well, that depends. What is it? Cocaine! Oh, bloody hell. You can't keep that. You know what my folks are like about this stuff. What the hell are you doing with it anyway? I just had some leftover from uni and decided to bring it home on the off chance. Well, I'm not touching it. It's really not a big deal, Al. Loosen up. You might have some... Fun. Hey, what are you... Give that back! Calm that down, I was just seeing you get I'm sorry. I know it seems like... It's... <laughs> it's not what you think, it's just... I never knew how to... say anything. You're a sweet boy, Al. Creepy, but sweet. I've got a deal for you. How much money do we have left? I don't know, about 30 bucks, I think. What about that 50 we found at the... We're eating it. Did you get in touch with your mum? I just let it ring out. She has to know you're OK, Loz. I left her a note. She knows where we're going. 
What? You told her? I had to. A second ago, you were worried that I hadn't spoken to her and now you're pissed at me for doing just that. There's a reason. I didn't want her to know where we were going. Calm down, babe. No, she'll tell the cops, you know. No, she won't. Of course she will, just to get at me. They'll be waiting at the house when we get there. Shit, how could you be so stupid? Look, I'm sorry, OK? I didn't think. I can't keep looking after you, Loz. That's what got me in this mess in the first place. Well, maybe I don't need looking after, Scott. I'm not a child. Could have fooled me. Listen to yourself, Scott. It wasn't me who drove the car. It wasn't me on my phone. It wasn't me who hit the poor bastard. And it wasn't me who decided to run. How did things get so... I don't know. Maybe we should just... Can't go to prison, Loz. I can't. Well, maybe you won't have to. Maybe they'll never find us. Is that straight? Um, a bit to the left. Like that? No, the other left. You mean right? Right. Always was terrible at that. It's very nice. What is it? Art. Lovely. Anyway, it was lovely to meet you. Mm. So, which apartment do you live in? Oh, I don't. Excuse me? I don't live here. <laughs> you really had me going there for a bit. <laughs> I don't live here. <laughs> That's great. What's so funny? Oh, my... Please tell me you were going to say goodness. Goodness would be much better than God. Excuse me, but what the hell are you doing in my apartment? Just being a good Samaritan. Let me show you something. Oh, God. I mean, oh, bugger, you're one of those... If you just have a look. I really don't. I'm a Buddhist. I just saw you step on a cockroach. It was going for my food. Look, I've been up since five this morning. I've spoken to thousands of people and not one of them have listened to the word yet. I just want someone to pay attention, OK? OK. I mean, Christ! It's just a pamphlet. Calm down. Calm down. Why don't you start from the beginning? The beginning? Really? Really? Okay then. In the beginning there was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. On the first day, God created the heavens and the earth, the sun, the moon, the stars, the Sorry to just turn up like this. It's fine. I guess the normal thing would have been to Facebook or something, right? I guess. Except I couldn't find you. I don't have Facebook. Oh, that'll be why then. Water? Hmm? Would you like a glass of water? Oh, sure, water would be great. So, Dad, look, I don't mean to be rude. Sam. Right. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. I know, that's why I'm... I don't want to know you. I don't want to know how Dad managed to keep another family secret. I don't want to know who your mum is. I just buried the bastard. I don't want to know. You're gonna have to deal with it sooner or later, Tam. Don't call me Tam. 
Don't talk to me like you know anything about me. Shit, I don't even know if you're telling the truth. I could get a DNA test done, if you like. I just can't deal with this right now, okay? Okay, fine. It was hard for me when I found out too. Look, maybe when you finish your drink, you'll be so kind as to leave. Sorry to have bothered you. Hang on. Just... I'm sorry. I'm going to need some time with this. I understand. I don't have Facebook, but I do have email. email address and my phone number. Whenever you're ready. It was nice meeting you, Tammy. Yeah. See ya. I can't have you just showing up like this. We need to talk about my case. I'm working on it. You've been ducking me. I haven't been ducking you, Kim. Five bloody messages. All right. All right. You're here now. Let's talk about it. Where are we at? I don't know how much longer I can stay at that place. It was the best I could do on short notice. It's a hole. Unless you consider staying with family. He'd find me there. I need bloody... Police protection. You know, we can't offer that, Kim. And we still need to prove that. What? Those pictures not enough? Kim, just calm down, please. We need more. If we're going to. You don't believe me. You think I'm making it all up? I don't think that. It's just. With his record. Ask anyone. Anyone who really knows him. We have. I'm sorry, Kim, I don't know what to tell you. He has a great record. Yeah, he's perfect. He gives back, he hires multi-ethnic balanced gender, employs half the bloody town. What do you want me to say, Kim? We need more than a few photographs if we're going to go after a man like that, especially a few photos from, from me. That's what you're gonna say, go on. Say what you really think. I know what everyone thinks of me. I know. I get it. I still see it in the paper. I was the girl who cried rape. I was the girl who lied. I have to live with that. But I'm not making this up. I know. We'll get him, Kim. I don't even care what happens to him. Or me, maybe this is no better than I deserve. I just want to get my little girl away from him. I believe you, Kim. I 
I've been really looking forward to meeting you. Are you sure you want to prefer somewhere a little more private? Won't you try the tea? Oh, yes. Thanks. This is my favourite cafe. They know me really well here. Why are you shouting? I'm not. <clears throat> I haven't done a lot of these. This is the first time trying the online thing, you know. It's a bit... Exciting. I completely understand. Not knowing if you've agreed to meet up with a total wacko or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Now, on your profile, it did say you were into puppetry. I used to like Sesame Street as a kid. And that got you into puppetry. I get it. Well, actually, I'm not really into it anymore. But on your profile... I know. I just didn't know what to write for interest. So I put down what I liked as a kid. You have to like puppets. You, you, you need to. I'm sorry. Like... Listen, mister. <laughs> If you want to get with me, there are a few things you're going to need to understand, OK? Um, people are looking. Let them look. But this is... I don't understand. It's not like I'm asking for anything particularly kinky. Please, would you just sit down? Why does this keep happening to me? You men are all the same. Heartless and inhibiting our female energy. Please, just... Why is it always me? OK. OK. Whatever you want. I'm... game. You're a gentleman, aren't you? Well, I don't know about that. Will you just stay there a minute? Of course. Hoppers <laughs> don't talk, Matthew. Now keep very still. Close your eyes. I told you I need time to think about it. I know that's what you said. But I thought this might make the decision easier. Look inside. It's not just you, babe. It's us. Let's do this together. You and me. And whoever else comes along. Too late. <laughs> it's not. We can plan a quick wedding. Have everything sorted before she comes. Evan, it's too late. You were ready when... Yeah. But you said... I know. I couldn't do it. How could you? I don't feel like that. You always knew it was on the cards. But I never thought you'd actually go through with it. I thought you were just scared. I was scared. But you're not alone, Katie. I'm here. I was going to be here for us both. I wasn't scared of being alone, Evan. I was scared when? of... When? Last week. Who else knows? Evan... Who knows? Just my mum.
you have any idea what you've done? Of course. It was my choice to make, Evan. It's my body. It was my baby! Do you have any idea what that means? Of course she I... She was healthy! Do you know how many people would kill to have a healthy baby? It wasn't a baby yet. What am I supposed to tell my sister? My mum's going to be devastated. It's not about them. No. It's about me. And my child that I'm never going to meet. She has nothing to do with us. She's gone now. What are you talking about? A mother will always be a part of us, Amy. Don't you want to remember her? I'll remember her how I choose to. My memories of my mother will have nothing to do with you. I don't understand. What's wrong, honey? You need to talk to me. We've been getting along so well. What's changed? What's changed? Are you really that stupid? Mum died, that's what's changed. I don't need to pretend anymore. Now that she's gone, I can finally leave. Amy! Did you really think I'd forgotten about it? Or that I was just okay with it? You were supposed to be my big brother. You were supposed to protect me. I thought we had to put all this behind us. How am I supposed to put that behind me? I think about it every time I see your face. But at Mum's place... I never told Mum. You know what that would have done. It would have killed her. That's not something I need to worry about anymore. So that's it then. You're really going to leave the only family you have left. You're gonna let me lose my mother and my sister in the same day? You lost your sister the day you decided she was a piece of meat for you to use. There is no family here for you, Derek. How many times do I have to say, I'm sorry? As many times as you like. Amy. I'm sorry. Really. I don't know what I can do to make you believe me. But I'm begging you, don't leave me like this. We need each other now more than ever. It's just you and me. All you ever said was that we had to keep it a secret, reminding me every day how much hurt it would cause if it ever got out. You're too late, Derek. Secret's out. But now, there's no one left to listen. do it. I wore this shirt to class last week. You know, all these issues would go away if you just thought about our options. I told you, I'm not ready to move in yet. Why? You spend all your time at my place anyway, and it will be so much more convenient for you to get to class every week. Yeah, but convenience isn't the only factor here. What else is there? All right. We love each other and want to be together, and it's convenient. What else is there? There's something I've been meaning to tell you for a while now. It's kind of important. What? Aaron, 
I'm gay. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? I mean I'm gay. Gay as in? As in attracted to men. Are you sure? Aaron. It's just, we've been together for two years. You've met my family. My mother loves you. Your dad doesn't. He'll come around. I study musical theatre. I thought you were just artistic. And my favourite colour is purple. I wear skinny leg jeans. Your family is European. We never have sex. Low sex drive. Many girls appreciate that. All my friends are jealous. Aaron, I'm gay, sweetie. I've known for a while, I just didn't know how to tell you. But you're my best friend. And you're my best friend too. That doesn't have to change. It's just that now... You'll let me borrow your clothes. <laughs> no, sweetie, that'll never happen. My life is over. This is the popcorn. I thought Jono was picking you up. Yeah, he called and said he couldn't make it. It's made it pretty quickly, he has no interest. Arsehole. Yeah, let's not talk about him right now. You all right? What do you mean? Come on, I've known you way too long to not notice when something's up. Is it the baby? No. Well, yes, kind of. No. I have to ask you something, but I need you to wait until I finish before you respond. Okay. I'm thinking a lot about this, and I know this is the right choice for my baby. And f for me. So ask me. Would you be the baby's godmother? Yes! Oh, God, yes! You know I'm not finished. There's something else you need to know. What is it? It's not going to change my mind. When I came for my checkup last month, the doctors found something. Oh, God, with the baby. The baby's healthy. This is me, Sam. I've been diagnosed with motor neuron disease. So what does that mean? It means I'm really sick. And it's going to get worse. The degeneration usually takes less than five years. I'm going to die, Sam. Don't say that. No, I mean, don't say that. You're going to beat this. We'll talk to the doctors. There's no prevention. There's no cure. It's a terminal disease, Sam. But you're going to... You're having a baby. I'm having a baby. A baby who's going to need a mother. Oh, Angie. Just think about it. <laughs> 